Hey guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the biggest reasons why 99% of those that try to improve in FIFA always fail. So as always, show your support. Please make sure you hit the like button. Make sure that you subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell so that you know when we release new videos. So one of the biggest reasons why most people struggle to improve in FIFA and why 99% of people fail to improve in FIFA is because of their own faults. Now, when we say our own faults, that is a big, broad statement. So let's break it down until what we mean. Now, I had a really great comment the other day. I was reading through some of the comments, and it was a nine-minute-long defending tutorial. I thought it was a very well-put-together video. And reading through the comments, most comments are very positive. Everybody really engaged with the video, and everybody loved it. And I saw one guy say, I was really looking forward to watching a video on how to improve defending, but why did you have to make it nine minutes long? And to me, that really highlighted why a lot of people struggle to improve and why you see a lot of people that maybe go onto videos or go onto Twitter and complain that they can't get better. And the biggest reason for that is because they don't have the patience, they don't have the mental capacity to actually take on board what is being said. So now one of the things that makes improving so difficult in FIFA, in modern FIFA anyway, is if you are a very, very good player. So let's say, let's take myself as a good example. An elite division player can hit 17, 18 wins on a really good weekend in champs. You have to ask yourself the question for starters, what is my reasoning for wanting to improve? Because when you look at game modes like friendlies, like draft, like champs, like rivals, the rewards are pretty terrible. You know, you can get far better rewards just by grinding the menu. So like for me personally, I only play FIFA just if I want to just play a couple of games, got a new player I want to try out, but I don't intensely play FIFA because there isn't really any benefit to playing lots of games of FIFA. So therefore, there isn't really or shouldn't really be the incentive at the moment, as it may come in future FIFAs, but in the current iterations of FIFA, there isn't really the desire or the need to necessarily get better because FIFA isn't rewards based. So there isn't that need to be a high level player. And when at, at different levels of FIFA, at different sort of skill levels, it's easier to get better. And the higher and the higher and the higher you go, it's harder and harder to go. So for example, if you are a very low skill FIFA player, let's say you're a Division 8 player, you know, you struggle to even qualify in champs. And even if you do get in, you get battered. If you're someone, if that's someone like you, Improving should be very, very easy. There is a plethora of videos, of TikToks, of content on Reddit, on Twitter. There's so much that you can take in. If you're just willing to engage that 1% of your brain, you take in some of that info and you can get better very quickly in FIFA if you are a low skill player. Now, let's take it up a notch. If you're a mid-level FIFA player, so let's say you're like a Division 4 player, maybe you hit sort of like 9, 10 wins in champs. It starts becoming a little bit harder to get better in FIFA and especially when you get up to that next level and you're maybe that Div 1 elite player and you hit sort of like 14, 15 wins, it then starts becoming very, very difficult to improve in FIFA and let's explain why. Now one of the reasons it becomes very, very difficult is because of the just general community. It is very toxic nowadays. Everybody loves to do a gritty every time you score a goal and it's very, very sweaty. Everybody knows the broken game mechanics. Everybody knows how to exploit everything in the game. So if you're someone that, like, I remember a couple of years ago in sort of FIFA 16 or something like that, I wanted to learn how to do some skill moves. Went online, saw a video on how to do stepovers. Then went in the practice arena and just practiced stepovers on the, on the third-person camera, just try and practice. Then went into the practice matches that we used to be able to go into on the on the kickoff arena. You used to go uh, able to go on 11 v 11 practice matches, or I think you could do attack versus defense, and you could be the attacker all the time against the computer. So I used to practice it sort of from the tele broadcast camera just so I had the in-game camera. And then you take it online and do it in games. But FIFA nowadays is a lot different. You know, it's way more sweaty, it's way more competitive, it's way more try hard, and everybody knows all those things. So you get into a game with the idea and the intention to try and practice something. And this is when you get to the higher levels. You can still do this in the lower levels. Right now I'm in division eight in rivals because i haven't played for like three or four months so me taking some some new thing i want to practice in the lower levels is really kind of pointless because i'm playing it against you know low skill people that i could beat whether or not i'm doing something that i'm practicing or not whether there's this new thing but when you get into the high levels you know because everybody's sweating and it's, it's stressful and it's not enjoyable you kind of forget why you're there you know you kind of forget that you're there to practice and as we linked it back to before that there isn't really that incentive or that need 
to become super good at FIFA, you know, I'm at that level where I'm in the, I could be in the elite division, you know, I'm good enough. You know, when I play, when I have played champs, I do get sort of 17, 18 wins, but I don't want slash need to take that next step to get to that, you know, potential low end pro level, if you like, because there's no need, there's no incentive, you know, to get there, you know, finishing 18 wins or 20 wins, it's kind of no difference. You know, being in the elite division doesn't really mean anything. It's not like you get anything special, you know, you don't get rewarded for being exceptional at this game. Now, if you're someone that just wants to get better just to improve, this is where it falls on the player. Now, when it when it comes to improving, going back to that comment I had before, that just kind of shows a lot of people nowadays. And it really shows in, for example, a lot of people like short content. You know, he doesn't want to watch the nine minute video. He just wants quick. How can I get better in 30 seconds? Tell me in 20 seconds how I can get better. And the answer is, it's just not possible. You know, there is no way to improve very quickly unless you are exceptionally bad. Because if you're very, very bad, anything is an improvement on what you currently have. But if you're already quite established, you played FIFA for a long time, you have to put a lot of time in to get better. If you're someone that's played FIFA for five or six years and you're stuck in Division 7 and you're sort of asking questions, I get this all the time on Discord and I'm always trying to be as helpful as possible, but the, the, the gen, genuine answer is you've got to put a lot of time in. And one of the things that people always laugh at and it's always a great tip that I like to give people and people say it's just such a generic tip, And but recording your gameplay, that is a great tip. You know, I watch my gameplay all the time whenever I'm recording tutorials or whatever it may be and having to edit down the gameplay and I might see a mistake that I make over and over again and I've conceded three or four goals but I know how to fix that you know I'm experienced in FIFA I've played it a lot so I already know what I need to do to fix that little error that's just crept back into my game whereas someone that's not experienced then needs to go away and watch that content whether it's let's say the jumping in tackles a lot or and the struggling with the defending then you can go away and watch a, there's a plethora of, of, of content that you can watch nowadays to find that mistake that you're making and you'll be able to find that fix and then go and fix it and implement it in your game. But if you didn't watch the gameplay, if you're not going to put the time in and put the hard yards in and put the effort in to actually commit to doing that in the first place, then you're not going to get better. And that's the problem. 99% of people do not want to put that you know hard effort into actually getting better. And part of it is just laziness and part of it is just... There isn't really the need. If you're a Division 7 player and you become a Division 4 player, sure, you're going to enjoy playing FIFA a bit more because you're winning more games. But it's not, in terms of actually in FIFA, it's not actually going to mean anything because you're not, going to, you're not playing in Division 4 for awards or anything. You just might enjoy playing the game a bit, bit better. And this is where we flip it to the positive side because those that have taken that step, those that have put that effort in and that I get these messages, you know, almost daily on Discord from people, you know, maybe saying your videos are super helpful and I took your advice on board and I put the effort in and it took a little bit of time. It took maybe a couple of weeks, couple of months, but now I've gone from division seven and I'm now in division three and I still want to get better, but I'm enjoying FIFA a lot more. And if that's your goal, you just want to get better just to have fun playing FIFA more, then you've got to take all this advice on board that we recommend in these videos, these attacking videos, these defending videos, these how to get better videos, you got to really take that advice on board and commit to getting better. Commit to putting the time in to record your gameplay, to, to take these tips on board, to practice in the arena and practice in rivals and friendlies and champs and practice these things in game and forget about whether or not you win or lose or if someone's going to gritty on you and celebrate. I really don't give a, give a crap if someone's going to celebrate on me. I, I don't get why people get so wound up by celebrations. I really don't care doesn't matter to me but a lot of people get wound up by stuff like that and if you're getting wound up by things as, as basic as that then you know getting better is is the, the least of your problems but ultimately it doesn't matter how good you become you just want to get better just to have fun then you got to put that time and effort in and if you do you'll be like that very small percent of people that do message me and say hey I did get better I did improve and now I'm enjoying the game a lot more. So hopefully it did take something really constructive away from this video and some of you that hopefully were maybe on the fence of, you know, been tipped to one side or the other and, and have made that decision on what you're going to do going forward. So hopefully those of you that do want to put that time in, you will obviously become a better player if you do so choose. So as always, share your support. Make sure you do smash the like button. Make sure that you subscribe and make sure you click that notifications bell. And if you do want to ask us any further questions or show your support, whatever, make sure you join our Discord. The link to that is down in the description. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.